Hi, this video is about projecting with a Chromebook to a data projector. Most of the projectors we have at our school district are on the older side and they use a VGA cable uh, when you want to connect to a computer. And with our Macs, we're used to having those white dongles or those white adapters that we need to use in conjunction with this cable. Um, so projecting with a Chromebook is pretty similar. If you have a pretty old Chromebook, um, some that were gotten the first year, you're going to have uh, a port, a VGA port on the side uh, that you could connect directly in. Uh, this is a relatively new one. Actually, this is a year and a half. Um, so if you had uh, Chromebooks that were bought a year and a half ago or so, um, you won't have that VGA port. Uh, you will have an HDMI port, and I'm focusing on it right now there in the middle. Um, it's similar to the port we use on our um, HDTVs. So because you don't have this type of connector, okay, you're going to need an adapter. And they make these adapters. It's an HDMI connector on the one end, and that goes into the computer and it has the VGA end that you would connect to your blue cord. So I'm gonna take a moment and do that and then resume. Okay, so now I have connected that HDMI to VGA adapter to my VGA cable. And all that's left to do is actually connect it with my computer. So I'm gonna do that here and put it in the side. Okay, once I do that, my projector is sensing that I have connected something to it. You may have to go in and select the source um, if it doesn't automatically detect it. But now you notice I'm on the Google Apps page or the G Suite page, and the projector is showing something different. And what it's doing is it's actually extending the screen. Um, so I could use this as another monitor, for example. Um, typically, when you're projecting for your class, uh, a lot of teachers will want what's on the screen to be what's projected. So we need to do a quick setting change. And it's pretty easy on the Chromebook. You would press the Control key plus what would be the F4 key, and it looks like that right there. It's like a square with the two little uh, triangles in the end. So I'm going to press the control plus that F4 and it changes screen. So now I am seeing on the display or the projected area what I am seeing on my computer screen. If you're not seeing that, if you know, you, it's not working for you. You know, there is another place to do this. So I'm gonna turn that off and then show you the other way. And it's showing me a little um, message that it's extending. So I know that it's not the same. So you wanna log into the computer first. Okay, you can't, I don't believe you can do this if you're not logged in. So you need to log in, go down to the corner and then go to where it says extending screen and then it will list the projector you want to click on that area the screen where it was saying that and then it shows you the two displays so the internal and then the projected display i'm going to go to options and i'm going to pick mirrored and then it changed it, okay? So then I'm gonna click on done, and then I close this up. So you could do it both ways. You could use the two, the key combination, which is control and F4 together, or you can go down to the menu bar area and change your settings there. Hopefully this helps you. If you don't have one of these adapters, you would want to call the service desk, um, talk to a, a technology integration specialist, or talk to your principal. Thank you.